Hi, everyone, and welcome to Sounders FC 1v1. I'm Matt Gashk, and joining me today on the show is Sounders FC first-round draft pick Eric Zavaleta. And first of all, Eric, thanks for joining us. Welcome to the team. Yeah, it's, it's been great so far. I'm happy to be here. For a kid from Indiana, I would imagine you probably watched more Sounders FC games than most kids in your area in 2009. What was, is that right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, every time that I, I got a chance to watch games on TV, I, I followed the MLS a lot. And um, Sounders games were always really fun to watch with the atmosphere around, so I, I got to see a lot of games. But you had a special connection maybe to the broadcast for the Sounders that year, didn't you? Yeah, you know, I, would, I would occasionally watch and listen to, to Greg and um, you know, he always hyped himself up and said he was a good broadcaster, so I had to check it out for myself, and, and he did well, and, uh, which game, made games even more fun to watch. Growing up where you did, I know you, you mentioned before that you watched Indiana University soccer a lot. What was it like to lift a national championship trophy for them in December? Oh, it was, uh, it was relieving. It was exciting. You know, all, all the emotions wrapped into one. You know, it was uh, an exciting run for us coming as underdogs and um, in, in front of so many alumni that came down and made the trip. And um, I came to, I've said it before, I've come down to, to Indiana University to help them get back to, to where they were. And, um, you know, it was a tough decision on, on choosing where I was going to go to school. But seeing Indiana University play throughout the years and, and seeing how well they've done in the tradition they had made it, made it you know, exciting for me to go and, and try to be a part of that tradition. And now I know that I can go and, and look at their jersey and see that, that that eighth star is is mine, you know, and I was a part of that eighth star, and that's a really cool feeling. When you lifted that trophy, did you know at that point that you'd be going professional the next year? Uh, you know, there was a lot of emotions in it. You know, I, I felt like I had the opportunity. I felt like there was interest there from, from the league and from other places. and. Um, it, it, was, it was kind of a tough year to, to try to balance those, you know, emotions and, and what's going to happen after the season and, and try to put that aside. But as the year went on, you know, it got more serious and more serious. And I wasn't exactly sure um, at that moment, you know, but, but I felt like I had accomplished what I needed to accomplish to, to be able to push that college aside and, and accomplish um, what I did in college to move on to a new challenge. Those next few weeks had to be just a whirlwind. I can't even imagine going through those. Yeah, I mean, a, a lot of things happened really quickly, and I, I didn't even really, I, ha I haven't really even had time to sit back and, and think, you know, I just won a national championship. It's been from that to, to the combine, to, to doing my contract, to everything, and, and now I'm here and trying to work hard to, to make myself on this team and, and win a spot on this team. And, um, you know, time will come in my life to sit back and relax and think about the things I've done, but I got work, hard work ahead of me. When Commissioner Don Garber announced your name at the draft and you found out you were going to Seattle, what was your reaction? Just similar to, to lifting that trophy, a lot of, a lot of mixed emotions. You know, it's a, it's a nerve-wracking day. People, people talk about how exciting that uh, draft day is. And once you hear your name, it's a, it's a great day for sure. But it's a nerve-wracking day, you know, not knowing where you're going to go. You could be moving miles and miles across the country um, or you could be moving pretty close to where you, where you live. And, you know, and, um, being able to have Seattle choose me um, in the spot that they chose me was a dream come true to me because, you know, with the connection that Ziggy has to my family and as long as, or as well as um, just the Seattle Sounders organization. And, uh, if you ask anybody around, you know, they say the Seattle Sounders organization is the best in the league and their fans are the best in the league. And having watched that on TV um, and, and thinking at that moment, you know, I'm going to have a chance to be able to play in front of these fans and, and to play for this organization was a really big deal for me and a really exciting thing for me. A lot of it's been made about what position you're going to play. You've played as a center back, you've played as a forward at different levels. What's the adjustment like between those positions when you when you go from playing a center back at the youth level to a forward at Indiana where you mm -hmm. obviously had a lot of success to now maybe possibly back to a, to a center back? What's the what are those adjustments like? Well, there there's some big adjustments and there's some little adjustments and um, I think right now uh, I played some center back here so far and I've had to make some adjustments and some things that I've, I've transitioned well with and some things I've got I to learn to learn and um, you know, I'm excited about the, the opportunity. Um, I think that there's definitely qualities that I have within myself to play either position um, and, and I try to get as best as I can and, and wherever I am to, to do things um, defensively well um, so that I can transition better and, and to go up and, and to score goals and shoot on goal and, and keep both really um, intact so that whatever position I'm thrown in, um, then, then I'll be ready and um, it's, it's gone well so far. 
I know the fans will be really excited to see you the first time you get an opportunity to go out in, at CenturyLink Field in the Rave Green. What's that feeling going to be like for you? Uh, you know, I, I wish I could put it into words. It's, you know, it's, it's going to be a feeling that I, I've never experienced thus far. You know, I played in, in a World Cup in front of 20,000 fans and thought, wow, this is a crazy experience and, and so many fans and I could hardly hear the people next to me on the field and uh, playing in front of double, maybe triple that um, is, is something that I, I can't even imagine right now, but I've dreamed about for, for so long and I'm really excited to be out there. Great. We're looking forward to a good 2013 and, and good luck this year. Thank you. This has been Eric Zavaleta, 1v1 on SoundersFC.com. Give your full 90 with the Sounders FC mobile app featuring live audio, match day blog and much more to keep you connected. Download your app at soundersfc.com mobile.